I don't know what to say. <laughs> I really don't. Um, this has been an insane past 36 hours from the announcement that we're getting Lego Super Mario to we're getting 13 sets and a blind bag series and then the full-on reveal of the wave the next morning. And I'm kind of without words. I'm really sad, <laughs> to be honest with you. This theme had a lot of potential. This theme was, I think, could have been one of the biggest themes of all time, if you heard how passionate I was yesterday's video and, and the one before. And even, like I said in yesterday, it's just the fact that the amount of attention that this was getting, like, you know, when when Marvel and Star Wars sets are revealed, those kind of Star Wars and Marvel sort of news video channels, they, they don't really cover them, right? It, it's not a very common thing to do, like people who break down trailers and stuff and, and talk about, review the movies. But with this, with Super Mario, there was so many video game channels talking about this thing. It was absolutely crazy. And now they've revealed it. Pretty well, I have a, I'm not sure if it's the whole thing, but it definitely looks like this could be the entire wave, like all 13 sets here on the table that you're looking in front of in front of you. I I'm really stunned. I, I really am. I think that this was one of the worst decisions Lego has ever made. I do not see how this is going to market for kids. I I really don't. I I don't get how just like Hidden Side, you can't really properly explain what the heck is going on. It's not like you can have a, a trailer or whatever playing all the time. I think that this world looks incredible. I think that this looks really interesting in Lego form, but it's not many figures. And Jolly Time and I had joked on stream, I think a couple of days ago, saying how funny it would be if it was not many figures and it was just these big ugly things and... I, I was joking, and I was hoping that I was wrong when I was saying all that stuff. I just feel like I had such high expectations for this thing. I don't even really know where to begin. Like, I'm I'm genuinely upset. Like, this, this in concept, minus the technology stuff, is what I was explaining. Like, what I wanted. Like, working your way up to Bowser Jr.'s castle or something like that, and having all of them connect. I was right about that. Just not about a lot of it. Anyways, I, I just was editing the video and I realized let's just cut things off here and I'll do a separate video breaking it down um, maybe later today when I'm more energetic and can reflect better because I feel like I was really negative in what I was saying but um, in concept it's really smart. I really do think so. Like it would have been cool if they could somehow figure this out and put a chip inside a minifigure, I think that would have been a lot better. I, I guess I should explain how this works. Um, inside the digital Mario, whatever it is, there's like some sort of reader on the feet, so whenever it actually interacts with, whether it was the, the, the random block, or like the top of a Goomba, the flag, um, different things like that, there's other little chips, the piranha and plant and different things. It, um, it can actually give you coins or something for defeating an enemy and, and it, it interacts it, i don't i think it plays i'm not sure if it plays music or if it just has like different voice dialogues or just the wah wah when he jumps and stuff um but yeah that's that's pretty much it in concept yeah but i think that some of the builds and different things like the i i really just want like the characters like i i've always wanted lego mario like and Bowser Jr. is one of my favorite characters. I know a lot of people are just wanting a Yoshi. As well as just the Koopas look cool. The Goombas look great. And the Blooper. And all these different things. And I'm just... I don't know. We'll break down the 50 second trailer later on today. I promise. Um, we'll go see, clip uh, second by second and all that stuff. But I'm really disappointed I think. I think probably like a lot of you. I haven't heard anyone else's opinions. I haven't seen anything so... I don't know, maybe people are loving this, but I'm just, uh, I'm really disappointed. I think we had really high expectations, and 
it's kind of crumbled down in our face, um, at least for me. Again, this looks like it could be the whole wave, I'm not really too sure, but again, do a bigger video later on talking about all that and maybe trying to figure out what parts are what sets and pr uh, price wise and different things but for sure I think the starter pack the, the first set in the list that I talked about yesterday is actually a starter pack and that's the one with Mario which is gonna be really weird that Mario is only coming in one set uh, yeah I don't know it's it's very strange to me very strange stuff but uh, anyways everyone what do you think of this um, Maybe I don't, maybe I'm in the wrong here. I, I hope that you do enjoy this. Hopefully there's still minifigure sets. I, I don't know. I don't know. I don't see a $100 set worth here. But, uh, yeah, I hope that you did enjoy the video, and I hope that you all have a great day. I'll see you all in the next one.